Hey, 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 Things that we're like, okay, God, we ain't showing up. <laughs> this word he wanted me to just deliver and just say to remind you to be patient um, with him because, you know, at the end of the day, we, I think we all tell ourselves like, okay, it's not our time. It's the Lord's time in order to kind of like cope or you know kind of we we say this in order to like keep our patience but then in the back of our mind we still have a clock going like we still have a clock going no matter how many times we say it's the lord's time it's the lord's time you are still privately counting down okay that's that's human nature you're still like you might chill out for a little while but then after a while you are looking at the time like man it's been god it's been six months or it's been two years or whatever like and that's human nature it's absolutely nothing wrong with that but i think that he wants to remind you to just be patient because the truth of the reality is is nothing we can do about anything i mean we can force situations if we want to but we all know that force situations they don't last they don't last and anything that you want god to do for you it might take some time, but it, at least it will last, okay? If you force that business open, you'll probably be closed down before a five-year mark hits. If you force that relationship, it'll probably never end in marriage or it'll be a tumultuous relationship the whole time. If you force, you know, if you try to manipulate yourself to be in a certain field, knowing that you're not anointed or appointed to that field, it's going to be a rough period for you. So it's better to just wait on God because the truth is we do get to like pick our, we get to shape our reality. We get to, we, we can create what it is that we want for our lives. Okay. We can create, but that does not mean that there's God's will for you. That's the problem with the world today. Like when we can't, when, when, when God is not doing things for us, on our time or he's not doing certain things for us at all we force the situation you know what i mean it's a reason he doesn't want you to have children right now it's a reason that that he doesn't want you to go on that career path it's a reason that he doesn't want you to date that person so we have to remember to basically wait on him like no matter how much you grumble and complain that's not going to force him to move you know like that's just like have you ever had anybody rush you to do anything like and you like oh i'm really gonna make them wait now like now they really have to wait now i'm really gonna take my time like it's that type of thing not saying that god is petty but what i'm saying is that when people try to force you to hurry up and do something it didn't make you move any faster in, in fact it irritated you it didn't make you move any faster so you have to remember that you cannot manipulate God or complain and grumble your way into making him do something on your time. I'm sorry, it just doesn't work that way. He wants us to remain patient. He wants us to get in a quiet place to hear his voice. The best way to actually get in a quiet place to hear his voice for me is too fast. Which that'll be another video. I'll talk about fasting probably on my next video or you know, sometime soon. But we have to get in that quiet place so that we can actually hear from him, so that we can actually know what his will is. Like, okay, God, what is it that you want me to do? You know, yes, I've been laser focused on meeting a husband. Or yes, I've been laser focused on meeting a wife. Or yes, I've been laser focused on getting this job or having children or whatever it is that you've been placing all your focus on. But meanwhile, God is in the background trying to get you to do X, Y, and Z. But you won't get into that place of submission or that quiet place so that you can actually hear from him and see what it is that he wants you to do first. There are steps. It's protocols. It's, it's a hierarchy. Like you can't just, just jump into something. You know what I mean? 
So yeah, this video again is just to encourage you, wait on, wait on him. Try to be as patient as you can. Try to keep as busy as you can. If you get in your purpose, you know, I'm not saying because you're in your purpose, you'll never have a moment where you think of these things or where you worry whether or not God is really there or if he's going to do certain things for you. Because I do feel like that's human nature, but God knows that he made us. He knows that. And that's why he says to keep your mind stayed on him. You know, if we, if we keep our mind stayed on him or we care more about what it is that he wants for us before you know it, time will pass. And those things, God will bring to pass for you. Soon as you start obeying, he'll start bringing those things to pass for you one by one. So I just want you to stay encouraged and get in a quiet place with God. And uh, I hope this helped you today. You know, do me a favor. Make sure you subscribe. Or if you think that this video could help someone else. Share this video, you know, share it to your Facebook or share it through text or whatever you need to do because I'm trying to do a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, so, yes, I, I'm not, I mean, I'm far enough from 2,000, but it's not that bad. If you just do a favor and share the video, before you know it, people will just naturally subscribe. Like, people were subscribing to me when I hadn't even been on my page in months and months. So, I know with your help, we can get to that 2,000. And once we get to that 2,000, I'd be happy to do a giveaway for you guys just to show my love and support for you all supporting me. And I will talk to you guys on the next video. Thank you.